Some of the Rochester City schools have been implementing new ways to handle student discipline. Today, one school shared the results of these new approaches. Christian Garzon has this report. Progress. That's what the Enrico Fermi School number 17 talked about today in breaking the school to prison pipeline and reducing suspensions. Its method? Collaboration versus confrontation. The biggest takeaway is that positive school climate is working in this district. Suspensions are down, academics are up. Suspensions have dropped 33 percent since 2016. The breaking the school to prison pipeline study includes a relationship away from exclusionary discipline. According to the principal, when a child is out of line, immediate punishment is not always the answer. So what we want to do is have a system that can help kids unpack those feelings. And they do, with a safe room, reflection room, and help zone. All designed to let kids decompress and work out their frustrations before any major problems boil over. One student who changed schools and had physical altercations says this school is distinct. But here is kind of different. It kind of changed me a lot. For one community activist and organizer who deals with a lot of criminal justice issues, having this kind of therapeutic response is critical in early development. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of um, variables that uh, can directly impact uh, youth and lead to adults that then make bad, further bad decisions because they had no support in the school to begin with. The principal says she hopes this school will continue to be a beacon in the center of an urban village. Christian Garzone, News 8. Thanks, Christian. The Breaking the School to Prison Pipeline study was released in collaboration with the Children's Agenda, an independent nonpartisan organization.